Well, hello everybody and welcome back into the garden. It is a typically windy Sunday here in Westman, but it is a glorious sunny Sunday. So let's all hope that right now the mic is doing its best to block this wind. And uh, the little cover I've put on that thing was actually worth the effort of getting it on there because holy, did that thing just not want to fit. Anyway, today we're doing part two in my air layering series. There's probably going to be quite a few videos in this, so bear with me as I try a few different things. First thing I want to do today is check on the Saskatoon that uh, you may or may not see right behind me there. And uh, we'll check in the tinfoil pouch. There's a few people that have suggested the tinfoil, tinfoil, tinfoil. So there are a few people that have suggested the tinfoil might actually be getting far too hot for them. I have been hoping that the uh, foil is in fact reflecting the sun and the heat away so today we'll find out about that and it has also been suggested to me that this project does not in fact take several months it can be done in a few weeks so today is three weeks and uh, we're gonna check so let's put you guys on the tripod and take a look at the tinfoil package around my smoky Saskatoon now I should probably apologize because this is a better camera than these videos might suggest but tragically my computer is just still not up to uh, editing anything remotely HD. So this is the best I can do for now, folks. Mindless small talk while I try and peel this tape off the top. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Still really doesn't strike me as having been a bad idea. It's not quite as easy to get off as I had initially thought. Now I don't want to damage this too bad in case uh, it hasn't formed any roots. So please bear with me here. Oh, that's not not looking good for the foil. I might have to just get some new stuff. Feels fairly cool. So I guess we've solved the uh, question about whether or not it's getting too hot. That is definitely cool very moist still I take that as a good thing I don't see any signs of roots forming on here yet so I don't think we're gonna dig much deeper and leave this for well probably another couple maybe few weeks check back on it then but at least now I know that the foil is as I was hoping reflecting at least the majority of the heat and it is working to keep that moisture in there because so I've been kind of wondering about how I'm supposed to top that up. I don't think I'm going to put fresh tape on that and I don't think we're going to bother to check the gooseberry. So let's move in to the next way I'm going to try and do these and the next plant I'm going to try and do it on. All right, so we're flying handheld again. It's gonna get a little shakier here, but we are over at the red current. And look, I finally cleaned up most of my mess. I'm getting ready to move that, but that's a whole different project and therefore a video. But on the red current, we can see a boatload of little flowers have sprouted out open this year. So I'm really hoping we don't get uh, whatever it was that kind of infested this thing last year. I, don't, I still don't know if it was some sort of a spider or a moth, but we got a webbing over all of this and very little harvest. But this year looks like things are gonna be, well, a little nicer come harvest time. That said, we only have one of these red currant bushes. Uh, I believe this was another $4 Walmart clearance wonder. And I'd like to put a couple in this newly opened space here, just so we've got a nice little bank of them. I don't know, I think it'll look nice. And you know, more is better than less when it comes to uh, <laughs> perennial food sources, you know? My opinion anyway. So I want to try 
doing some air layering with this just so I can get those extra bushes like I was saying but because of the problems that I had getting the clumps of soil to stay on today I am going to be trying well a cut up water bottle and uh, packing the soil in that so stick around and uh, I'll get started all right so in short the plan today is to clear off a little bit of the stem here just like we did in the other ones and I think I am going to get a veggie peeler to go about this maybe a little easier because I am making a very botched job of this This is a good knife choice for cutting the bottles as it turns out, but not necessarily so good for uh, cleaning the branch. So one way or another, this particular stem was coming off of here this year because it's heading a little more outward and towards the lawn than I would like. So my thinking is, if I can turn it into a whole new plant with this seemingly simple system, we have yet to get to the, the simple part of it, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, if I can make this work and get a new plant out of it, then great. So today, to assist with that, I have cut up a water bottle, cut it in half, and sliced through where the cap goes on there and I'm just going to try and spread that around my stem again not as easy as I was hoping but not terribly difficult okay I also have a strip of sheet from several other garden projects and I'm just going to try and wrap that around the base of all this Oh, I hope this doesn't look as terrible in the camera as I suspect it does. But the idea here is that this will stop some of my soil from coming out the bottom. And hopefully I'll be able to use it to wrap around the outside to kind of close the cup. All right, I will tuck that aside for now. Hopefully it will work well enough. I've got a bag of just plain potting soil here. And I have to say packing it into this is much easier than trying to wrap it in a ball around the stem in those previous couple of attempts. And this bottle and strip of cloth thing seems to be working fairly well for me so far. So that's kind of exciting. It's potting soil, so if I spill some on the ground, no big deal there. I am gonna pack this. All right. And now the one thing I do like about this idea is that we should be able to check for roots without risking this potential root ball later on when we come back and check this in a few weeks. Not quite done yet though. I do still want to water that in. Probably gonna end up adding a little more soil at that point. And uh, I wanna, I don't know, do something with this wrap here, I guess. Tuck it through. What is it they say to kids? Loop, swoop, and pull. Anyway, it's kind of resting on a branch down at the bottom so it shouldn't drop too much. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and get some water and some tinfoil. Give it a sprinkle, hopefully not knock out too much of that potting soil. Yeah. 
See, I'm also kind of hoping if it gets too moist, extra moisture will be able to kind of drip out of the cloth on the bottom of that. A little watering can could use some help here, but. I think basically we're gonna be good to go with that. And if not, I can always come top it up later. So next step, tin foil. Oh, and of course, as we've got the tin foil, the wind kicks up again. Now my guess is this is still gonna be a bit of a pain, but since I don't have to hold the soil together, yeah, it should be much, much easier to achieve. Alrighty, well look at that. So, while I considered it an extra step and initially, you know, thought of it as unnecessary, I think I'll be using some sort of a water bottle or pop bottle or Gatorade bottle, I guess, depending on the size of the stem, for uh, future attempts at this. Cool, very exciting. So the next bush I'm hoping to try another variation of this on is this beautiful honeyberry because as I've mentioned in other videos, it is the first one to flower uh, for the last couple of years, so I suspect it's gonna maintain that. And therefore it's a really good source of early season pollen for our bees, honeybees, bumblebees, whatever. There are several different varieties of bees out there and we need them all. So, The wind is just knocking that around. Hopefully you're seeing it more than you're hearing it. But I guess that's probably where I'm gonna wrap it up today. And we'll get back with the next one in this series probably in two to three weeks time when we once again check on the Saskatoon berry back there. And uh, of course, we'll have to stop and check on today's. And then we'll try a third variation on this one. It is after all my opinion that it's, it's almost impossible to have too many fruit and berry bushes around. And yeah, as I said in previous videos, I think if I can make this work, and frankly, I've seen it work for enough people that uh, I'm not gonna give up until I find a way to make this work and master it at least as well as I've mastered the aquaponics because let's face it on that one, I can pretty much build an aquaponic garden out of anybody's junk pile. And uh, that was my learning goal with that. I, I feel I have achieved it. And I'm gonna get to that point with this air layering concept come hell or high water you know so yeah it's going to be uh, an interesting journey and i look forward to sharing you know what i learned along the way please feel free to add any comments down below if you've got uh, further bits of advice for me or thoughts on whether or not i should go with that veggie peeler idea yeah let me know and if you find this at all educational or entertaining feel free to share it on whatever social media is all that blah 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 that goes along with this you know yeah please hit the like button and hey have you subscribed if you're you're seeing it at this point i'm pretty sure you're not only a subscriber you've been a sub for a while so many thanks to you much love to you all whether you're new old or just getting comfortably settled in with the channel and uh yeah i will be back probably in the next few days because it's time to get started on some of those companion gardens and in fact i have started on the swale garden which i can't really tell if you can see behind me it's back there somewhere. That big swale garden we built a few years back. Go check in the video library if you want to see what I'm talking about there. Yeah, anyway, much love everybody and I will see you in the next garden update.